Hey guys, Indra this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 and this time it's related to the review of latest update that is version 058. So for that part let's move to the change log and see what uh, like what whatever was mentioned in that particular update has been resolved or not what are the underlying or prevailing issues still there. So for that I will be moving to my own blog and for the uh, the link for this particular uh, blog will be listed in the description and and you can follow the same so again this was already discussed by us in the previous video when we have posted this particular video related to uh, version 58 but now we are again uh, using this particular blog for the review part so let's discuss with the change log so the first thing that was screen rotation flickering so this is almost resolved there is no uh, issue is been reported uh, yet on the any of the facebook or uh, twitter or any social network site wide one l1 support is back it has been already confirmed and uh, so there is all this is already done so asus man mentioned that they have fixed the battery drain issue no they haven't fixed but uh, i would again say up uh, as compared to the previous version that is 057 now the battery drain is more as at the peak at this moment uh even uh, i have uh, like i have reviewed this particular thing from last 4 to 5 days i was keeping my phone 100% in the night and whenever i was uh, waking up in the morning and i was again checking my mobile it was showing sometime it was showing 96 sometime it was showing 97 so i was seeing nearly about a drainage of 1 to 2% sometime 3% so again for this particular thing like uh, battery drainage issue we have already created a video on uh, on on the same like how to uh, how we can resolve this issue again that is just a trick or a tip it's it's not a 100% solution so you can follow that particular video for that we will be adding a link in the description and also add a card link too apart from this sound quality is improved yes it has already improved as compared to the previous version 056 057 but again if someone is saying that no it's not working at my end we had already created another video on this uh, and we'll provide a link again that is related to trick and a trip to resolve the sound sound related problem and we'll provide a link in the description and also add a card link for the same so fifth point slow charging yes this has been resolved again if you are facing please change your uh, usb cable and try with that you will surely uh, find a, a resolution for the same last point is related to fingerprint scanning yes now it's working absolutely fine a uh, fine as compared to the previous version now the last thing it's uh, it's not mentioned here because i, I had i haven't mentioned because it's not uh, been in this update but other youtubers are just creating speculations by giving false statement that camera to api is been enabled no camera to api is not enabled yet with this particular update i don't know why they are asking it if 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 someone really want to know that whether it is updating uh, whether it has updated or not they can just turn off their camera to api uh, using fast boot mode and afterward again install this and they will surely find out that no there is no camera to api is been enabled and i have tried this numerous time and i haven't found uh, am, a camera to api enabled by default using this update and if you want we can even verify so this is a, a actual app camera to probe api which which tells us whether what's our hardware support it's showing legacy though so there is no camera to api is been enabled and even apart from this there is another app uh, that is manual camera compatibility let me start this so it will just run a algorithm in the background so it's mentioning nothing has been so it's an urge to other youtuber don't uh, spread the false information or speculation just to earn views at your end and apart from this now let's discuss about the performance after this particular update so for this uh, we had already run uh, various nt2 and geekbench scores uh, on the version 57 and as well as on the version 58 so this is related to nt2 scores so you can see on an uh, let me zoom it so on an overall the in uh, like scores have been increased earlier it was uh, 115183 and now it's 116223 so one can say yes overall the scores have been increased even in cpu even in gpu uh, in ux and but now with this particular update memory management is been somewhat lagged so as you can see in version 57 7, the score was 74 30 and now it's 6958 now let's move to the geekbench scores so again in this particular uh, uh, geekbench scores you can uh, but now on the contrary in geekbench 4 score the scores are been decreased as compared to the previous version so in in 50 uh, version 57 it was showing 13 1335 now it's showing 1304 
in multi course course it was showing 4734 earlier and now it's 4355 so you can see it's a decrease and in even render script it was showing 4230 and now it's just 1 minus 44000 so now we don't know how these calculations have been done in the uh, background but according to the latest update uh, in the geekbench course course that performance has been decreased in ant2 it uh, overall it was showing that it is increased now let's move to the geekbench 5 score so now in geekbench 5 scores they have really changed the paradigm or the algorithm uh, for calculating the scores so now now let's discuss about the cpu and under that single score in 50, uh, 057 version it was showing showing 275 in 50, uh, 58 it is showing 270 again it is a decrease in multi scores in uh, version 057 it was showing 1139 in uh, version 058 it is showing 1130 Uh, and again in compute so with the uh, introduction to uh, geekbench 5 score now they have uh, changed the algorithm behind compute earlier it was using render script now it is using two different framework one is using open cl api and another is vulkan api so both works in a different way so even in this particular scenario we can see in open cl open cl api earlier in uh, version 057 it was showing 429 in version uh, 058 it is showing 427 and last is related to vulkan api so in version 57 it was showing 254 in uh, uh, in version 58 it is showing 253 although in these particular geekbench scores scores are very uh, like in terms of decrease those are very marginal so again uh, we can't say that performance has been decreased but, uh, but the main thing is that yeah our brain uh, battery drainage is really at peak hopefully within this particular month by the end of this month asus will roll out their new update with the new security patch of september 2019 and along with that they will resolve this battery drainage issue and apart from this uh, if you uh, if you are uh, like if if someone is saying that camera to api is enabled please ask ask them that don't uh, spread uh, this particular false uh, information or creating a false speculation just to earn views on their channels so this was all from our side related to uh, review of version 4, uh, 0587 Hope you really like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this with your friends and family. And apart from this, please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in coming future. It's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.